And I'm Vicki Liviakis. Three people are dead. One person critically injured after a fiery cyber truck crash. It happened in Piedmont just after 3 o'clock this morning at the intersection of Hampton Road and King Avenue. And that's where we find Cronkor's Gail Ong live on the scene with the latest for us. Uh, Gail, this is such a tragic story. Yeah. A tragic story indeed, Vicki. Um, it's been an emotional day here in Piedmont. Uh, we have been seeing people come in waves, just stopping by the crash site, which is right across the street where we are, just leaving flowers, paying their respects to those involved. Horrible. Sandy Martin, one of many who stopped by Hampton Road near King Avenue in Piedmont, the site of a fatal crash early Wednesday morning. They all have wonderful families. Um, I just, I don't really know what to say other than they were incredible kids. Martin says she taught some of the victims in middle school. Piedmont police say the crash happened just after 3 a.m. when the driver of this Tesla cyber truck lost control. Our officers uh, applied their fire extinguishers in an attempt to extinguish the flames, but due to but, dude, but the fire was too intense for the extinguishers to be effective. Piedmont police chief says three people died. One person was taken to the hospital with critical injuries. Chief Bauer says a person who was driving nearby saw the crash and helped pull that victim out of the truck. One woman says she is close with the family of the survivor. She says he underwent surgery and suffered burns. Uh, he is under sedation right now. So we're hoping that he recovers. She describes the victims as friends and recent graduates of Piedmont High School and are back home visiting the Bay Area for the holiday. By the afternoon, friends and loved ones left flowers, embraced one another, mourning the lives lost. This shouldn't happen to any kids. When you know them, it just makes it worse. As for the investigation, Chief Bauer says speed was likely a factor and there is no indication mechanical defects were the primary cause of the crash. And investigators are also looking into whether drugs and or alcohol played a factor in this crash. The identities of the victims have not been released, but the mayor of Piedmont did say that the victims will be honored at tomorrow's annual Turkey Trot event. We are live in Piedmont. Gail Ong, Cron for News. Gail, thank